Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and this is a question from an end of topic worksheet I made on integration from uh, chapter 7 of the new P3 International A level um, at Excel course. And this uh, topic of integration was never in the old C3 prior to this. So, this is a question I've taken from like some other source, I think from maybe a Cambridge paper. And I don't actually remember which paper it was, but I've added this into my um, end of topic worksheet for integration. So I'm going to go over this question uh, for some students who have asked and who are asked to find here. The integral of 4 times cosine squared of a half theta with respect to theta. Now when we're trying to find the integral of sine squared or cosine squared of an angle, um, even tan squared of an angle, we don't know how to find that directly. So we have to think of another way to express this angle such that we can integrate what we have. And one of the things that we can um, remember is the double angle formulae, right? For example, I know that cosine 2a, cosine of 2a can be expressed as cosine squared a minus sine squared a. Now, this is, this is a formula that's not given to us in the formula book, in the formula sheet for the exam. And if you forget this formula, you can derive it from the uh, formulae that are in the formula book, which is basically cosine of a plus b equals cosine a times cosine b. You'll find this in the formula book. Minus sine a times sine b. So if we think about cosine 2a, that's like cosine a plus a. That's cosine 2a. So that's why this becomes cosine a times cosine a, which is cosine squared a, minus sine a times sine a, which is sine squared a. So that's how we get this formula. That's where it comes from. Okay, from this, this one of the addition formulae where you make the, the angles the same. So it becomes cosine 2 of that angle. All right, now, I want to express all of this in terms of cosine squared of an angle because I want to um, find the integral of cosine squared of an angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other identity that we know from you know, the beginning of AS course, that sine squared of A plus the cosine squared of A equals 1. The sine squared of an angle plus the cosine squared of the same angle equals 1. So I can rearrange this formula and express it in terms of cosine squared A. So I have cosine squared A from here that I want to keep minus, and I want to change this to 1 minus cosine squared A. Okay, because sine squared A is 1 minus cosine squared A. Then I'll have this expressed entirely in terms of cosine squared of the angle. So this is cosine squared A minus 1 and plus cosine squared A. So that's 2 cosine squared A minus 1. Now this formula is one that's very important and one that really you should know. And if you quote that straight away uh, from, you know, without going through all of this, that's fine. And that's, you know, something that you're expected to know this formula. It's not in the formula book, you're expected to know it. I went through all of this just to show you where it comes from, okay, just so that you understand where it comes from. But this is a very important formula. Now, if I rearrange this formula to make cosine squared A the subject, what's, what's going to happen is you're going to have cosine 2A plus 1, okay, divided by 2 equals cosine squared A. Okay, so cosine squared A is like, you can say, a half of cosine 2A plus 1. Okay, now let's apply that same situation to this. Here you've got to find the integral of 4 cosine squared a half theta with respect to theta. Okay, so what we can do here is we can think about this, that the cosine squared of the angle became a half times cosine times double of that cosine of double of the angle plus one. So you can think of this as so leave the four out for now. This is going to be four times a half times cosine of double this angle. See this a became two a so this half theta becomes theta plus one with respect to theta. So you have a half times cosine theta plus 1 
That's what that becomes. If you look at the pattern here, cosine squared of an angle is a half times the cosine of double of the angle plus one. So cosine squared of half theta is equal to a half times cosine of theta plus one. Now, this is something in a form that we can integrate. So four times a half is two. So I can write the two out here if I want to. And I've got to integrate cosine theta plus one with respect to theta. Now I can integrate both of those. I know that the integral of cosine theta is sine theta. And I know that the integral of one is theta. And I've got my plus c. So I can write this as two sine theta plus two theta plus c. And there I have the answer to this question. Okay, so it's pretty simple just changing this using this identity here. Okay, so this identity, as I said, you can quote it as it is without having to go through all of this. But I'm just trying to show you where it comes from. And this identity turns into this expression here. Cosine squared a equals a half cosine 2a plus 1. And that's what you have to apply to this situation here. And we've got the answer to part a of question number 7. And just for completeness sake, I'll also do question uh, 7b, which I've also been asked to answer. Now, 7 part b is telling us to find the exact value of this in the integral between the limits of minus 1 and 6 of 1 over 2, 2x plus 3 dx. So whenever you see a fraction, you should always check to see, is, an, is it of the form where the numerator is the differential of the denominator or of a form which is um, the same order as the differential of the denominator. Now, the numerator is a constant. The denominator is linear. If I differentiate 2x plus 3, I get a constant 2. That is a constant, so it is of this form. If, it's, if so, we can use the reverse of the chain rule. The reverse of the ch chain rule, when you've got something in this form, is going to be with lin. Okay, so you've got 6 minus 1. You have 1 over 2x plus 3 with respect to x. If I integrate that, I'm going to get 1 times the lin of the modulus of 2x plus 3 divided by the differential of what's in here, which is 2. And I have to integrate that between the limits of 6 and negative 1. Okay, so now I'm going to um, simplify this. I can take the half outside and I have the lin. Now 6 into this expression gives you 12 plus 3, which is 15. So the lin of the modulus of 15, well, that's positive. I don't have to modulus anymore. Um, that's lin 15 minus the lin. If you put negative 1 here, you have minus 2 plus 3, which is 1. Okay, um, so that gives you lin of 1 is 0. So you get a half times lin 15. And there's your answer to question part B. Very simple. And there's the answer to that question number 7. Um, other questions from integration from P3 from this particular end of topic worksheet can be found in the play playlist that will appear somewhere over here. Other questions from, from integration of P3 in general you can find in the playlist that will appear somewhere in this area. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle. Thank you for watching and see you soon.